All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and if you are a Muhammadan, please join us in this nice conversation to discuss together who is Jesus the Christ in Islam. There is many articles written by Muslims about Jesus, but in fact, I could not find one article, neither a statement made by Muhammadan or by Muhammad himself or by so-called Allah can explain to us what Jesus is and some Christians they just you know uh, copy paste what the what the Muslim says about Jesus and what the Muslim says about Jesus I find it kind of weird as an example Jesus and the angels and Jibreel are all in Quran as are Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses and a bunch of other Bible or biblical uh, names. The fact is not true. <clears throat> Quran never mentioned the name of Jesus ever in the Quran. There's a guy, his name is Isa and nobody knows who is Isa. Never reported in history not in a single Christian book now we assume that this is the same Isa as Jesus because Muslim they say he is the same but in fact there's no historical proof there's no evidence of such an existence of a person his name is Isa and the Quran quote the name wrongly which is a name we never heard of, of. I am an Arab, and we Arab Christian, we don't call him Isa. We call him Yesu or Messiah. I will write it for you in the screen so you can see with me what we call him. Yesu or Messiah. Yeshua is coming from the word Yeshua. The difference between the Hebrew and the Arabic and even the Aramaic, that sometimes the letter Sa or Sin uh, uh, is switched to Sheen in, in Hebrew and vice versa. So the Messiah here is coming as the word Messiah. The word Yeshua is coming as the word Yeshua. It's almost the same. But in Islam, there is no Yeshua. There is only El Messiah. So here we notice right away that Islam is not really speaking about someone we knew as much speaking about a different character and there is a huge lack of understanding as an example Islam teach according to the Quran and we prove that many time that Mary is the sister of Aaron And Aaron is the brother of Moses. So according to the Islamic belief, Mary is the sister of Aaron, which means he is the uncle of the guy. His name is Isa. Now, who is Isa? Who is this guy who is, his name is Isa, who his uncle is Aaron? Nobody can explain. And the father of Mary in the Quran, his name is Umran. Who is Umran? The Muslims agree that the same father of Aaron is Umran too. And the same father of Moses is Umran too. But Umran, he is not the father of Mary. And he is not even the father of Aaron and Moses. There is a huge difference between Umram and Umran. To make it simple for you, I will type the words in the screen again. So you might understand better. In the English Quran, they type it as this. Umran. But the way it should be 
is Umram or Amram actually so even the name is very close but it's wrong but this is not the name and cannot be the name of the father of Mary so why the Quran even cut their name the wrong name for the father of Mary the wrong name for even the father of Moses the wrong name for the father of Aaron and how the Quran in a miraculous way made Jesus the Christ or who they called him Isa here we go he changed the name we, don't, we got a name we do not know suddenly he became the nephew of Aaron and Moses so take always into your consideration that Islam is not a religion we can learn about the Messiah from because obviously it is a wrong history a wrong person and it is made by illiterate person who do not know even a basic knowledge about Christianity as an example Islam teach that uh, Mary uh, she was accused by the Jews at that time to be a bad woman and they said to her you know and this is why they are saying to her oh sister of Aaron what you did but this is false because the Jews cannot accuse Mary of such a thing because for a very simple reason she is engaged to Joseph which mean legally she is married engagement in Judaism is marriage without living together which means she's still virgin he did not know her yet the Quran never mentioned Joseph never mentioned that Mary she was engaged to anyone and here always as usual the Quran is a cut off story there's no story in the story Suddenly we have a woman, her name is Mary, and she's getting pregnant. How? We do not know. God, he sent an angel, he said to her, you will be pregnant. He sent his word down to Mary, and that's it. The whole story is done. And then suddenly this woman, she go and she sit under a palm tree, which does not exist. Maybe you can see in the movie, palm tree is now in Jerusalem. But Jerusalem is not the city of palm trees. You see, when you... Uh, when you see Jesus making a speech, you will see that Jesus, he might make a speech in the mountain of the olive. Not the mount of palm trees. It's not a desert. And what palm tree? And then you will see that Mary, the woman, she is shaking a palm tree to eat. I mean, not only the story is funny and stupid, a woman she is she just delivered a child and she is shaking a palm tree I don't know if you know what palm tree is I don't know what country you live in but palm tree not even 10 men can shake it so how Mary she was able to shake the palm tree Stories which nobody knows how it made who behind this story no explanation no nothing it's just a guy suddenly Muhammad he came 600 years after Jesus and suddenly he's telling us what happened to Mary and the palm tree Which does not even exist in that area. Muhammad is a desert man, so he imagined Mary. She lived in a desert, and she have nothing. What what the trees will be there? A palm tree. But this is not the story. You go to Jerusalem and see what Jerusalem is about. Jerusalem is a city. It's not a desert where palm tree is in the side. I mean, where do you want to go in the palm? Where is that palm tree inside the city of Jerusalem? In case you do not know. I mean, Muhammad, he don't even mention to us where she, where is that? Jerusalem? Is that Bethlehem? Is that, uh, 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 where, where would this happen? No, nothing, no information. Suddenly, Mary, she went to a palm tree. That's it. And then you read the story in the Quran, you will find the story is very funny and very stupid. Look what it says in the verse after. This is chapter 19, verse 24. 
Then one cried into her from below her. If you ask the Muslim who is this guy, they don't know. Everyone give you his opinion. Some they say this is the angel Jibreel. Some they say this is Allah. Allah is underneath of her. Mary, she is sitting on Jibreel. Mary, she is sitting on Allah. Who is this guy who is speaking from underneath of her? And he said to her, shake the palm tree. They do not know. You can watch my previous videos and you will see every Muslim, every Abdul Muhammad and who spoke to me, he gave me different answer about this verse. And then when the Muslim, they try to give interpretation for this, everyone give his own interpretation, guessing for nobody knows what the Quran is talking about. And then he said to her, shake the trunk of the palm tree because that will cause the day to fall upon thee. Upon thee. Let me get you a picture of a palm tree so we can love together. Palm tree. I mean, obviously, Mary in Islam, she used to go to the gym since she was one day old. And obviously, she was a bodybuilder. True story. Let us look for an image for a palm tree. All right. We found one. Mary, she was shaking a palm tree. You tell me how you can shake it. I challenge you, you Muslims, to make a video and get 20 men, 25 men, to shake the palm tree. Shaking the palm tree by a woman who just delivered a baby. I think Muslims, they misquote Mary by Her Hercules. Or maybe, uh, I don't know. That is a coconut? Well, it doesn't matter. Palm tree actually is even higher and bigger. And actually, the one who took the picture is a Muslim too. Hmm? I mean, look, all, all of those pictures. A woman, she is shaking a palm tree. Yeah, maybe maybe this woman she can shake a palm tree. Yeah, this is a palm tree. Look how big! Look how huge it is. So the story in the Quran, any any story in the Quran cannot be verified. There is no historical report of it. It's just a fiction stories, and Muhammad is making. Uh, I mean, and there is no point of this story. I mean. Uh, what is that? I mean, she went to a palm tree and then she heard a voice from underneath of her and he told her, advising her to shake the palm tree. Well, obviously, Mary, she did not know that there is a palm tree behind her and she did not know that she can shake it if she can. She needed an advice. And then he says here, so eat and drink. Okay, well, the palm tree is food. We cannot drink from the palm tree. What is that? I mean, the story is really funny. And then Mary, she went to the palm tree to give delivery. Why she is coming back to her people to show them the baby? If this is a shame, if this is a shame, why she is coming back to her people with the baby? Because if she can show her people the baby, then there's no need to go to the palm tree. You do it at home. Close your door. And then they say to her, O oh, sister of Aaron, horrible, horrible story. And then Mary, she did not answer. She said to them, look, she pointed her finger at the young boy, which means Isa. And then the Isa, he spoke. He says, I am a slave of Allah. I want to hear how that can happen in the Hebrew. 
uh, if we look in the Hebrew language to find what Allah is, you will you will be you, you know you, you it's funny what what, what Allah. Isa speaking in Hebrew, saying to the Jews, "I am a slave of Allah." Shouldn't the Jews first recognize who is Allah first? Here we go. Go into the book of the Jews and show me the word Allah. If Isa is a is a, according to Muslim, he was a Jew, speaking to the Jews. How in the world, Isa, he will say to them, "I am a slave of Allah." What about saying, "I'm a slave of Yahweh"? That will be understood. Elohim. That will be understood. Slave of Allah. Who's Allah? However, this is not really the topic of uh, my topic today. I just made an introduction introduction for you about the silly story in the Quran. And then Jesus, he said that Allah, he made him blessed wherever I may be. And he asked me to pray as long as I am alive. And then he said, Allah made me or he, you know, to be, uh, 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 you know, like uh, good to my mother. And then he says, and peace be upon me, the day I'm born, the day I die, and the day I shall raise a life. That's weird. Muslims, they say Jesus, he went up to heaven directly, he did not die. So what that mean peace upon me the day i was born the day i die and the day shall i raised alive it's very funny it says i shall raised be raised alive i mean should he be raised dead the second you say you see that in arabic it says Ubu'athu. You do not need to say Hayya because that will make it silly. The second you say, I will be resurrected, you just said you will be resurrected to be alive. That's why it's called resurrection. Or the word Uba'athu is resurrection. So to say after that, resurrected alive, that is silly and stupid. Because you just said that already. The day I was born, peace on me. What does that mean? The Muslim do not know. What does that mean? Peace upon me the day I'm born. No answer. What does that mean? Peace on me the day I was or, or I die. What does that mean? They don't know. What does that mean? Peace upon me the day I am resurrected. What is that? What peace upon me in this day and this day and day? No answer. It's just a guy trying to make a rap song and to make the rap song work he say words have no meaning and until now Muslim do not know what does that mean how like imagine I say peace upon me I am saying that I mean how Jesus can give peace to himself unless he's God Like he did not say, and Allah put peace on me. No, he says, Peace on me the day I was born, the day I die, and the day I will be raised. And then, if we try to understand what is that, what that peace is about, it's hilarious. Even the peace upon me the day I die, what does that mean? What peace is that? Please maintain your language in the chat, otherwise I will block you. Doesn't matter if you are a Christian, Muslim, Hindu, atheist. Any stupid talk, oh, you will force me to ban you. This is a this is a place for adult, for they are looking for education and answers. If you are a silly person coming just to call names using bad language, trust me, I will not hesitate to block you, no matter who you are. So this is a warning. It's a language 
we understand I am an Arab it's a language come with no meaning and nobody can explain what this is about and then Allah he says such was Isa not Jesus the son of Mary and here we have the big question the son of Mary why Jesus is the son of Mary why he is the son of Mary why he is not the son of somebody who is the father of Jesus we ask Muslims they have no answer why Mary she have a son without a husband no answer what the point no answer what the reason no answer suddenly between all mankind a human being is born he have a mother but he have no father if you remember we made a video before that the Quran says that Jesus is the same as Adam do you remember and we proved that to be false you can go and watch it because Adam is not the same as Jesus even in the Quran it was a silly statement made by Muhammad in the Quran Jesus is not the same as Adam in the Quran Adam was not created by saying to him be and he was that's a false statement which mean the Quran is made by false statement person I challenge the Muslim to show me where in the Quran explain Allah that he created Adam by saying be the Quran says no the Quran says that Allah created Adam after he fashioned him from mud which means he brought dirt water make them mud and then he made a statues of a human being and then after that he breathed into him and even then Adam he said to him finish me Allah before the sun said this is why the Quran says and the human or and the man he was ever hasty we can read the interpretation for this you will find that Adam he asked Allah to finish him before the sun set chapter 17 verse number 11 so the process of creating Adam was not be and he was neither the process of creating the Muslim Isa be and he was the Quran says clearly that Allah he sent his spirit his spirit appear in front of Mary and he delivered to her the good news and then Allah he breathed into her vagina and then she became birthnet with the Messiah he did not say be and he was Allah never did anything by saying be as an example you remember the story when we showed you How Muhammad, when Allah he decided uh, <clears throat> uh, to clean his chest, I don't know if you remember the story. When Allah he decided to clean his chest, Allah he sent two angels to do a plastic surgery. Let us see that together. Allah, He sent the angel Jibril. By the way, even the name Jibril is is wrong. We never heard of a guy. His name is Jibril. Who's Jibril? Who's Jibril? The name is wrong. Allah, He sent an angel with two other angels. Three. It's exactly like what happened in the two. Uh, uh, I mean, three men. They came to Abraham. Muhammad he have three men coming to him they are angels but they are in the shape of a man and then the angels 
they cut the stomach of Muhammad and they took from the stomach of Muhammad all the material which was in according to Muhammad own story not my story after they took off all the material in his in his in his belly they wash it with the water of Zamzam and then after they wash it with the water of Zamzam Allah he sent them a dish of wisdom and faith and they pure it in his chest and his throat if Allah the God who do things by CMB so what this point of the surgery as you see, even wisdom, Allah cannot make you wise by saying, Be wise, be smart, be faithful. No, no, Allah, He have to send it in dishes. Now, some Muslim might say, Oh, you are fabricating a story. So let us show some reference. So the Muslims, Abdul, will not say, as usual, you know, Christian Prince is lying. But whatever we say to them, they say, You are a liar. We know them. We know them very well. Here we go. This is the story in the front of your eyes, and this is a Sahih Hadith from Sahih al Bukhari. All right, Sahih Hadith from Sahih al Bukhari. Three angels they came to Muhammad as a man, and then they cut his. Uh, from his throat all the all the way down to his testicles. Read with me carefully. So those angels do not talk to him till they carried him and placed him side by the will of Zamzam. From among them, Jibril took a charge in him. This is Doctor Jibril. He is the the, the surgeon. <clears throat> Jibril cut open the part of his body between his throat down to his testicles not as a chest and then he took all the material brother out of his chest material what, what Muhammad he have there but, but he took all the material so here you notice this is Muhammad talking by the way this is not me don't be angry from me this is your prophet Abdul here you notice that all the fabrication the Muslim they say about Allah is a, is a lie you say if Allah wants something to happen he said be well, here we go Muhammad when he have a sexual problem what what happened he invoke Allah and then Allah he sent him a dish of shish kebab al kufayt it's called al kufayt Muhammad he said I was the most weak person between mankind in sex and I invoke Allah and then he sent me a dish fihi lahm fihi shish kebab kebab i ate it and i got the power of 40 men so how allah he solved the sexual problem of muhammad by sending a dish he cooked in his kitchen not by saying be here muhammad have other problem muhammad he needed a plastic surgery allah he sent the three angels he did not say be and muhammad became wise he sent the three angels and the big insurgent here surgeon is jibreel he cut his throat. This is a physical, you know. Even the Muslim, they say there was a chest a, a stitches there. They wash his kidney, blah 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 blah. You know, I mean, took it all. Everything took it off his heart, and then they wash it with the zamzam, and then look what it says. And then a golden tray containing a gold ball, full of belief and wisdom. The only religion in the world where a prophet of God he received his wisdom in a dish is Islam. The only religion in the world where a prophet of God he received his faith in a dish is Islam. If we go and compare between this and the story of Jesus, Jesus in the cradle. He is saying, I am a prophet of God. I am a servant of Allah, as the Quran says. He speaks and he is wise. Muhammad, at the age of 40, 45, he needed a surgery, plastic surgery, 
to install a dish of faith and dish of wisdom in his belly and trust me Muhammad became so wise and the proof that after the surgery he told us his story that is a so clear that how wise he is <laughs> I guess you know what I'm talking about right this is after the surgery Muhammad talking here which means he became wise now this is a story of wisdom Muhammad the wise is telling us this fairy tale story which not even a kid you will believe in such a garbage if this is Muhammad after the surgery I wonder what was Muhammad before the surgery you know what I mean do you understand me people imagine I come to you today I say guys yesterday I was a fool but yesterday Allah he sent me three angels and they cut my chest from here to here don't look down and they brought to me brother a dish of wisdom and faith and they put it here let me show you that sits stitches I mean how wise I am to say such a stupid story but the whole point here that if Allah is the God who say be and he was as you see he's not that is a contradiction for what Muslims they say to us and what the Quran says to us that Allah if he wants something he say be by the way Allah never created anything by saying be not even a single thing like what in the Bible if we go we will see that God said let be light and light was correct is that correct guys or I'm lying God said let be light and light was that is the God of the Christians where the God of the Muslims he said such a thing nowhere <laughs> nowhere This is the first thing the God of the Christians and the Jews he did from the beginning. He said it be Be and it was The God of the Muslims he cannot do that He can't even try and the proof is in the front of you Allah he have to 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 send the three men and those are three men they are angels they are doing a plastic surgery for his prophet Muhammad need fixing Muhammad need to be fixed it's a maintenance uh, surgery Going back to our topic. So Jesus is born with no father when the Quran confirmed something very strange, contradicting the story of Jesus. The Quran says, What does that mean? Chapter 25, verse number 54. <clears throat> You can go, all of you, and read the interpretation for this verse. By the way, this verse allowed the Muslim to have sex with his daughter, in case you do not know. Even though it doesn't say that clearly, but if you go and read the interpretation, you will see that a Muslim, if you have a daughter, which is not a daughter from adultery, not a daughter from marriage, a daughter in marriage in Islam is forbidden to have sex with her. But if you have a daughter from adultery, which is not from marriage, that's what adultery means, you as a Muslim allowed to have sex with the mother and the daughter. Now we can show the reference for that. But yet this is not our topic. This verse is stating that every human being is a created from a sperm. The water here, Quran always referred to the water from a sperm. And we made that from that sperm to come through marriage. And this is the only 
approved relationship in Islam. Or if you have a kid, not for marriage really, which is a contradiction actually, because Islam allow you to have sex with your slave. Uh, Islam allow you to have sex with your muta. But still they call it like, you know, consider as lawful for you. So this is lawful. So here, the Quran confirmed that every human being after Adam is from sperm. So what about Jesus? No answer. If you read my book, Sex and Allah, you will see the Muslims in their interpretation, they say that Allah, he created Miriam differently. So she have a sperm inside her. Every woman, or in the case of Maryam, she have a sperm inside her. And when Allah, he blow inside her vagina, he made her horny. And that moved the sperm which is created inside her to make her have a baby or to be a pregnant. Muslims, they do their job trying to explain miracles in a very silly way. How Mary, she got a child. I mean, how that can happen. So we have to find a solution. What the solution? You know, Allah, he brew into her, but she have a sperm of a man already inside her. When she was created, she have a sperm inside her. So when Allah, he blew, he did make her horny and that moved the sperm. And by the way, this is one of many interpretation. Muslims, they never agree about anything. The only thing Muslims agree upon is not to agree. If you read an Islamic interpretation, they say, the scholars disagree about what this verse mean. What does that mean? It means Islam is the most silly, stupid religion. Nobody knows what this verse means. So how we can cover up? We say the scholars disagree. What does that mean? Why the scholars disagree? And this is goes almost for maybe 85% of Quran. Everybody have his own interpretation. So here you notice that every human being is created from a sperm, which means from sexual relationship, for sure save Adam because Adam was created from mud. But Jesus not from mud. So when the Quran says that Jesus is the same as Adam, that was a silly statement. Adam himself, Allah created him, not by being he was, Quran confirm in many verses that chapter 6 verse number 2 7 to 12 uh, you know 32 7 37 uh, 11 uh, 38 71 uh, 38 76 uh, you know all of those verses saying clearly that Adam was not created by B If you go in the Quran, you will see that the Quran as a book explode or let us say expose itself. In chapter 15, verse number 28, actually you can go from 26. Verily, we created the man from a clay. Actually, it's a burned clay, backed clay. And here it says, and Allah, he said to the angels, he will create from a clay, a, a moral person, a human being. So when I made him, which, what does that mean? Actually, made him here is not correct translation. It says, فَإِذَا سَوَّيْتَهُ which means, so when I fashioned him in a look, 
it's like a statues so after I fashioned him what is next one to fihi and I breathe into it what is the B anyone see the B and he was no B no was silly Quran so here now we go to the second question why Jesus is the only one is born without a father and why he is still considered holy if you go in the Quran chapter 19 verse number 19 it says that Jesus is the Holy Son well here I have a question Jesus is the Holy Son of who can a person be Holy Son of a man is Muhammad you see you hear Muslim saying the Holy Prophet the Holy Prophet that is a stupid actually the Quran confirmed that Muhammad is a big-time sinner not a holy man but yet the Quran confirmed that Jesus is a gift and he is a holy son so why Jesus is the only one is born but yet he have no father from all mankind why Jesus is the only one who spoke when he is one second old why Jesus from all the prophet all men or everybody is the one who do not need a surgery to, to speak wisdom he speak as a prophet of God when he's born which means he have it before he was born you see the Muslim they say to us that Jibreel he came to Muhammad and he squeezed him three times and said to him read still Muhammad do not know what's happening Jesus yet he is in the cradle but yet he knew he is born with knowledge and that can be explained in some following stories if you go in the Quran or in the hadith you will find that Muhammad confirm that the Messiah is the word of Allah and he is his spirit he is the word of Allah All right. Three together. You better go to Jesus, the Spirit of Allah and His Word. And here Muhammad here supposedly speaking about himself that he is the highest but hold on is Adam the spirit of Allah and his word if yes that means this statement is false to explain to you if I am if that kind of goes like uh, every one of us is spirit of Allah and he is the word of Allah that's mean Jesus is not special do, do you understand me when you say that he is the word of Allah and he is a, the, the spirit of Allah that's mean he is the only one is the word of Allah and he is the spirit of Allah otherwise this title will be funny anyone don't understand what I'm saying who is a Muslim he don't agree with me in the chat why Jesus is called by your prophet that he is Jesus is the spirit of Allah and he is the word of Allah some false translation by the way they try to say to you he is a spirit created by Allah it doesn't say that in Arabic it says Ruhullah Isa Ruhullah wa kalimatahu Isa is the spirit of Allah and he is his word don't lie in the translation and then after it says so they come to Isa the spirit of Allah 
they come to who to Isa, the spirit of Allah. It's almost like became his last name. What is the last name of Isa? The spirit of Allah. If everybody of us is the spirit of Allah, then why Isa is called the spirit of Allah? That will not make sense. That means only Isa is the word of Allah and he is the spirit of Allah. But why? How? How Jesus, the Messiah, he is the spirit of Allah and he is the word of Allah. Why not Muhammad? Why not me and you? No answer. No answer. As usual so you Christians you follow a person even in the cult of Islam he is the Spirit of God and he is the Word of God what the book of John says what the book of John says isn't this what the book of John says That Jesus is the word of God. In the beginning, it was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. That is Jesus, my friend. Do you see it? Muhammad he copied from the Christians their belief that the Messiah is the Word of God when the Messiah he said I will leave and I will be with you I will give I will give you the comforter which is a spirit you just confirmed the Trinity without knowing Jesus is a word Jesus is a spirit Jesus is a man three in one what is that? God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. If we go in the Quran, you will find Muhammad saying, in chapter 4, that Trinity is wrong. The Christian Trinity is wrong. But Muhammad is so funny to the point you do not even know what the Trinity is. To the point you think that the Trinity is Mary and Jesus and Allah. Which I find very funny and very silly. Because the Christians don't believe in such a Trinity. As usual, Muhammad never quotes something correctly. In different verse, Muhammad he says, How far are those that the Messiah is Allah? So how in one verse you says the Trinity is Jesus God as Allah by name and then Mary and then different verses says that the Christian they say the Messiah he is Allah himself so obviously the one who wrote the Quran is a very confused person who do not know what Christianity is about and then you will notice that the verse after it come you know is a contradiction in this verse Muhammad he says that the Christians are kuffar when they say that Mary, sorry, Jesus, the son of Mary, is the son of Allah. And by the way, we don't believe in Allah. But the verse after it says, the Jews and the Christians say, we are the sons of Allah. And then he says, well, if you are the sons of Allah, then how Allah he punish you with your sin? So obviously, Muhammad, he have no idea what the sons of God mean, or the children of God. 
he think that having a son that's mean that somebody have sex with my mother and this is what it's mean that God is my father so when a Christian he says our father out of heaven a Muslim would condemn that he says this is wrong you cannot say that because Islam have different idea of the creation of a mankind that Allah he created every human being just to be a slave This is the purpose of Islam. Allah, He is looking for a bunch of slaves. Allah is bored. Chapter 50, uh, 51, verse number 56. Allah, He is looking for This is the only purpose. Christianity has different purpose so remember always as a Christian or the one who is listening here regardless who you are the God of the Christians not only he have different nature because in case you do not know the God of Islam is not a spirit and he has no spirit the God of the Christians is a spirit From the first verse in the book of Genesis, it says, God is spirit. That's it. All the lies the Muhammad and they try to fool us with that we have the same God is, is, is destroyed. Your God is not a spirit and he has no spirit. Our God, from the first verse in the Bible, it says, is, and this have nothing to do with the Christian, by the way, because they might say, oh, you Christians, you okay, the Jews, this is the book of the Jews now, which is our book too, the Old Testament. The first statement there that God is spirit. Why the God of Islam has no spirit and he is not a spirit. So anytime you argue with Muslims, make it short. Say to him, your God can't be my God for a very simple reason. Number one, the nature of God. Your God is a physical being. Maybe many of you do not know that Allah is a physical being. Allah is a real physical being, is not a spiritual being, is not a, is not a spirit. And here we notice something. Allah is not a spirit, he is a physical being. So why the Muslims, they say we worship a man when they are worshiping a man too? Because if you go and see the description of Allah, you will see he is just a man. Even Muhammad, he described Allah as a man. Actually, Muhammad, he described Allah as a person look exactly like Jesus the Christ. Muhammad was worried that when the false Messiah come, the Muslims will think he is Allah. Read with me carefully. The Prophet said, I have told you about the Dajjal. By the way, the Muslim, they put between to bracket the Antichrist. The Muslim do not believe in the Antichrist. There's no such a name. A person is called Antichrist in Islam. That's a lie. They try to fool you. The Muslims they believe in that the Jal, the Jal is not an Antichrist. The Jal is a person who claimed to be a Christ, and there's a huge difference. The word the Jal in Arabic means the liar, the scam. So this guy, his name is the Messiah, the scam, which means there's the original Messiah, the real Messiah, and the scam Messiah. So Muhammad saying, I have told you about the scam Messiah, which means the false Messiah, the one who claimed to be the Messiah. That I'm afraid that you might not understand that the false Messiah is short, etc. And he described how he looked like as a man. And then after he described him, look what he says: no deep seated, blah blah blah. And if you are confused about him, okay, know that your Lord is not one eyed. How in the world this statement can be said? Muhammad here should be comparing between the Messiah, the real Messiah, and the false Messiah. Why he's comparing between the look of the false Messiah and Allah? You know what I'm saying, guys? Do you people understand me? First of all, I am worried you will be confused about his look and the look of Allah. Why? Unless they are both men. Because the false Messiah, he will claim to be the Messiah, which means he is a man. 
So why Muhammad is confused, afraid that you might be confused? Confused about what? He is saying to them, your God is not one eyed. The Father the Messiah, he have one, you know, one working eye. There's no way to compare unless the false Messiah and Allah both are the same. They are short. The false Messiah is short. Allah is short. No deep seated, the same as Allah. The only difference between them is what? The one eye. This hadith can be accurate only if we say you should know that the Messiah is not like that. You know what I mean? Because this guy, his name is Al-Masih al-Dajjal, he is the false Messiah. He will claim that he is the Messiah. He will not claim to be Allah. But Muhammad, he confirmed that by saying that I am the Messiah, you just confirm that you are saying I'm God. Do you see it, people? Muhammad here, he admitted that by saying I am the Messiah, and you are a false person you just admit it or you said to claim the title of God otherwise there's no way and there is no reason to compare and to be confused or afraid to be confused between how Allah look like and how the false Messiah look like the false Messiah is just a man you know Muhammad he says he have a, a lot of power to the point he can order gold from the come to the ground to the order he can chop a man to pieces and he put him together but still he's a man So Muhammad, because he is suffering from low IQ, he cannot stop getting himself busted as a false prophet. And this is nothing but a bust. If Allah is not God, I can accept that, okay, Allah, he looked like the Messiah and he is maybe a prophet. But by saying this, and this is a Sahih Hadith as you see, they can say it's a week, blah, 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 the, the games they play. So here we notice something very important. That we can prove, even in the yellow pages of Muhammad, that Jesus the Christ is our Lord. To the point even that the Dajjal, which is Satan, by the way, according to Muslims, he will claim to be the Messiah. He will not claim to be Allah. He will not be claimed to be Muhammad. He will claim to be the Messiah for the most honorable name on earth and in heaven is the name of the Messiah. Did you ask yourself why the Muslims, they say that Satan, he will come as a Messiah? What about coming as Muhammad? That's weird. You know what I mean? I mean, Satan... He is in, like, Satan is a challenge in who? Me? And you know, Satan, we are no, we are not no match to him in power. But Satan is challenging God. So why Satan is taking uh, 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 the identity of the Messiah? Why he choose such an identity? Simply because he is trying to be God on earth. Why why you Muslims can't explain to us why the, the false Messiah he will not say I am the false Muhammad? You know what I mean? So look what we learn about the Messiah in the cult of Islam. The Messiah is the only one, is a word of God, he is the spirit of God, and he is the only one look like God, and he is the only one Satan. He will take his identity. He will try. What else? You believe it or not? You remember when uh, Shaitan, he was jumping over the shoulders of Muhammad? But do you know what will happen to Satan when he sees Jesus according to Muhammad? He will be melted like salt in the water. He will dissolve, actually. Melted is not correct translation. Whether the Jal he will see the Messiah. Look what will happen. 
when Satan he see the Messiah do you see what will happen then Jesus the son of Mary would descended and I want you to listen carefully descended where is Jesus now he's in heaven what will happen he would descended <laughs> that's very strange Muhammad in the grave Jesus is alive and he will descend it and then he will lead them when the enemy of Allah who is the enemy of Allah the Dajjal the Satan when he see Jesus he would dissolve itself in water as if he is you know like when he see Jesus he dissolve as if he put salt in water the translation here is kind of weird why Satan when he see Jesus will dissolve like salt Muhammad he received satanic verses Muhammad was touched by shaitan Muhammad was bewitched Muhammad was controlled by 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 black magic which means shaitan to control him but when Satan he sees Jesus he will dissolve like salt what the power Jesus he have to the point when Satan he see him he will dissolve like salt are we listening people just he saw Jesus he dissolved And how Allah and even he dissolved himself then still Jesus would kill him and by the hand of Jesus <laughs> so even the end of shaitan is by the hand of Jesus not by the hand of Allah yeah this is a hadith and this is sahih this is the reference. So if you ask me why I me as an Arab Christian, I believe in Jesus, not in Muhammad. I mean, oh look at this. Who is Muhammad? No one. Is while Jesus was making the blind see, Muhammad was kicking the blind out of his house. Abasa wa tawalla. There's a chapter in Quran. It's called the Abasa wa Tawalla. Abasa, what Abasa? He gave the man a face. Who is that man? A blind man. Chapter eighty, verse number one. While Jesus making the blind see, Muhammad he was kicking the blind away from his house because he was busy with the rich people of Quraysh, his tribe. And you can read the interpretation saying that, not me. While Jesus was walking in water, Muhammad was speaking about his the power of his penis. While Jesus was healing people, healing diseases, while Jesus resurrecting people from death, Muhammad was making chapters that Allah He gave him the privilege to have sex even with married women. If you like her, her husband must divorce her. While Jesus was saying, The one who heard the little one, it's better for him to put a milestone in his neck and throw himself in the deep ocean. Muhammad was making it legitimate, legalized from Allah, his God, to have sex with the children. While Jesus was saying, the man who wish a woman she is not his, he committed sin, adultery in his heart. Muhammad, he was saying to them, you can go and rent a woman for three night stands. Which called the marriage of Muta. The Muslims they call it this way in English, but the fact it's not. It is nothing but temporary sexual relationship. So we as a Christians, we have nothing to do with Islam, period. Their God is not our God. Their God is a physical being, He is not a spirit. Our God is a spirit. Their heaven is full of vagina sex penises endless imagine Muhammad he promised them that in the heaven you will have a penis will never sleep 
imagine we have now a speech in the United Nation and we invite Muhammad to tell us about his heaven so we might all of us convert and then Muhammad he start describing for us that Allah will import from hellfire why from the hellfire because those women are prostitute they are so good in sex and they are very good looking and actually Muhammad he described them as that they are very have a desirable front passages which mean they have a very pretty breast and vagina and legs so imagine you have Muhammad in the United Nation making a speech about his heaven and why we should convert all the mankind to Islam. He will say to you, hey, listen to me. My name is Muhammad, the prophet of Allah. And I, if you believe in me, I will give you a penis which will never go flat. And then every one of us is going to hold his penis and say, wow, I want that. I will say Shahada right now. And I am truly truly convinced that Muhammad is a prophet of God go and read the Bible my friend and read the words of Jesus and see the wisdom the nobility the highest standard the holiness and look at this guy who is he what the Messiah he said is absolutely true from their fruits you shall know them From their fruits my friend Muhammad himself he called himself Muhammad which means the praised one how you call yourself the praised one Muhammad is nothing but a person trying to replace God by him Muhammad mean the praised one how you call yourself the praised one I thought praised the praised the praised one not praised one the praised one I thought the praised one is God Yes, anyone want to debate me? He's welcome. But you have, you can, you can text me. You can text me in in, uh, in uh, not in Skype in uh, Facebook. We verify that you are really a person who have knowledge as a sheikh, an imam, or a scholar. So you can debate me. I don't want to waste my time screaming with kids. I have thousands of videos speaking to those kids. Anyone he claim to be a sheikh is welcome. Just text me in your Skype in your uh, in your Facebook. All right. And we will check your page if you are really a, a sheikh or a known person. I will be happy to have you. Open debate. I have no topic. Topic is forbidden in my debate, which means don't tell me the topic about what you want to talk about. Just call me. All right. Only those who have no answers, they need to know the topic, they need to prepare three months in advance. You know, the potatoes who claim to be, you know, a cleric or scholars. A scholar you do not need to prepare brother let us choose a topic brother and I uh, we will do it two months from now so he go and print in the internet like 1,000 website and he copy paste a scholar you do not need to prepare the one who know his stuff he have it And actually, if there is somebody he is claiming to be a cleric or a sheikh right now, just text me, you know, post for us in the chat your Facebook. I will check it out and I will give you, I will, you know, give me your Skype and I will call you immediately, not tomorrow, not a month from now. My friend, Islam is no match. Islam is no match, not in the level, not in the standard, not in the knowledge. Islam is an empty religion. It is too big, like an empty barrel, but inside is empty and nothing, darkness. You ask a Muslim, he is 50 years old, is your God Allah is a spirit? He say yes. You spank him for two minutes, he go check in Google, Prophet Google, peace upon him, he come back and apologize and he say, I found that Allah is not a spirit. So all his life praying in the mosque and he speak Arabic and yet he did not know that his God is not a spirit. Islam is so easy to destroy if you have knowledge, my friend. If you have no knowledge, no. 
and this is what we do here we are free school right and I hope you people are downloading my videos because this is a very very interesting classroom it's for free we show you in the screen we share the evidence we explain it we read to you in English we read to you in Arabic and what do you want more time time will come and Christian Prince will die and you will not find somebody who can do what you do unless you educate yourself I'm not here to waste my time my friend I am here to share my knowledge for generations to come time will come tomorrow today I don't know maybe now I will die who, who I don't care by the way when I'm going to die the Lord is my Savior and I am saved I this life is just a journey for us we as a Christians we have a strong faith and we are happy to die not to kill life here is just a journey which is preparing for better journey an everlasting journey with the Lord but our Lord is the Lord of holiness not the Lord of asses and butts and penises from their fruits you shall know them now somebody says uh, Trinity the Muslims always they debate us about the Trinity right I mean this this is their favorite uh, topic Trinity 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 well we can we can approve the Trinity from the Quran if we ask a Muslim a brother what is the first chapter in the Quran he says to you uh, Al Fatiha okay what it says there Bism, by the way, the word Bism in Arabic here written wrongly. It is Bism. In Arabic, there's no Bism. The Muslims, they corrupted the Arabic. They said to you that the Arabic Quran is the best Arabic. That's false. The Quran is a corrupt Arabic. So it is Bism. Allah. Ar Rahman. Ar Rahim. Ask any Muslim why Allah he introduced himself with the three names. We don't know. I mean three why not four why not one I mean Allah is one right okay so in the name of Allah and that's it what the Rahman and Rahim so even the description of their God will not be perfect unless it is a three Muhammad when he do things he do it only three times. as an example You see, we are talking about penises. Do you know that even shaking penises, you have to shake it three times? Muhammad is a person who stuck with numbers. He stuck with number three. Everything in his cult is a three. The Messenger of Allah like to supplicate it three times and ask the burden of Allah three times. I mean, if you ask Allah once, it's not going to do, it's not going to be activated, Allah will not hear it. No, Allah will not. What about twice? No, 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 it's not enough. What about three? Yes, perfect. Okay, what about four? No need. Three times is perfect. Do you see it? Even their abolition, they have to do every limb of their body three times because perfect cleaning in Islam is based on doing three, not two, not one. Why? Don't ask, don't tell. Muslims, Abdul, do not know. There are people who copy paste, but they have no answer. Three time, three time, three time, everything three time. Even when Mary, she been asked, or even Zechariah in the Quran, he fast for three days. Mary, she fast from talking for three days. I mean, everything there is a three days, a three days, a three days. Why? No answer. Even when Muhammad, he tell a story, he have to repeat the end of the story three times.
nothing new. So Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses. The prophet he added, repeating the statement three times. Which means perfection is number three. And God is perfect, my friend. God is perfect. This is why when we speak about Jesus, even in Islam, we are not speaking about the miracle of Jesus. We speak about Jesus, the miracle. You see, in Islam, Jesus, not only he did miracles, he himself is the miracle. And God is miracle, my friend. God is miracle and he don't speak foolishness. And the other differences between our God and the, uh, the God of Islam, not only he is a spirit, not only he is holy, and the God of Islam is not holy, their God is foolish. Their God is foolish. Muhammad, he claimed that the God of Islam, Allah, he taught him the following. That the reason for a baby to be male or female is because whoever comes first. Now, we can mention tons and tons of stories. Watch my previous videos about mistakes in the Quran. It's endless. Every chapter in the Quran is chain of mistakes. So if you want to have a child who is a male, baby male, not a female, or vice versa, please... If you are a female, don't have orgasm first. If you don't want to have a female, because if you have a female and the female, she have orgasm first, bingo. That's it. The baby will be a female. Now, we knew based in the wisdom of Allah and his prophet what happened in the bedroom of each one of us parents. So my father, obviously, he have orgasm first. And that's why I'm a male. Here we go. Thank you, Prophet Muhammad, for teaching me something no way I can find out except by your wisdom. If Muhammad is not a prophet, how he knew this? And the funny, the Muslim, they say to you, the Islam and the Quran teach us things which nobody knows was not known for 1400 years ago. I'm sure you saw this before. Hmm? The Quran. The book of Islam contain scientific knowledge that could not have been known fourteen hundred years ago. You are right, for sure. Until now, is not known. Are you kidding me? The sperm coming from the backbone of the man, the ribs of the women, the sunset in murky water, the hail is made in from broken from mountains in heaven. I mean, endless. This. Uh, 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 the sun set in muddy water and there's a people live next to where it's set and he found where the sun rise <laughs> I mean or what about the the ants who who made a speech hmm? I mean come on scientific knowledge your God Allah even don't remember how he created the earth I mean the trees and the trees and the water and the animal first or the stars or vice versa we do not know so my friend i'm so glad that i am not following a prophet who needed a plastic surgery to install a dish of wisdom in his chest i believe i am better person than this prophet I believe that God he gave me wisdom and he did not need to make a plastic surgery for me my God is more powerful the God who gave me wisdom is not a God who need to make a surgery and push some silicone dish in my chest 
we do not need such a God and this God does not present us so to make it simple for the Muslims you cannot answer us why Jesus is the Word of God why he is only the Spirit of God why he is the only one is born but he have no father why he is the only one yet now in heaven alive but everyone is dead including your prophet why he is the only one is called holy why he is the only one will come in the judgment day as a hakam and muqsitan would mean absolute just and justice why 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 and why when shaitan when satan he see jesus he will dissolve like salt i will tell you why for my lord the messiah his name is a glorious for he is holy for his almighty God so when Satan he see him he dissolved like salt for my Lord he said I am who I am by him and for him everything was created that's my Lord so I invite you Muslims to read the Bible Enjoy the wisdom of Christ and don't fool yourself Waiting for God which is a vagina vendor That is not God. That is a pimp from Las Vegas God is not a vagina vendor He was not and he will never be Read my books And enjoy the knowledge about your cult Educate yourself and with this I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord and He is our Savior. And we are victorious. Even in the Quran, it says that we, the follow one, the follow Jesus, they are victorious until the judgment day. And we are victorious, my friend, by Him. He is our victory. He is the holiness. He is our Savior. He is the only one above in heaven who can save you. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and see you soon again. Bye-bye.